it's Pete here, and I'm back for a free day-long tournament. This time we're playing Imps. It's an eight-board BBO tournament that you can play by climbing competitive and then finding the free day-long tournament. Um, unfortunately, if you play it, you might not play the exact same boards as me because there are over 10,000 people playing it and only about 60 comparisons per, per uh, set. So... Unlikely that we'll play, but if you do want to compare, we actually have a friend group going, so if you want to, just add me as a friend, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2, and post in the comments or let me know that you've done it with your BBO username, and I'll add you back. Anyway, let's see what we can do. One spade, two hearts, there's just a double. Shows both minors. And I guess I'll just double again to show I've got a decent hand. Happy for my partner to pass, happy for my partner to bid something. Double's not strictly penalties here, just saying I actually had a good hand for this. So let's see if we can beat that. So my partner has one heart, if that, five spades. Um, I could, so... If I play another spade, firstly, they might just have a pitch straight away. If I switch... So, if my partner's got queen, jack, of spades, another spade... If my partner's just got queen, jack, fifth spade, another spade's fine. Dummy has five points, I have twelve. So that is... Seventeen. Twenty-three missing. She looks like 12 for my partner and 11 for East. There's a best hand tournament, so they can't actually be much stronger than that. Um, so let's assume East has Ace, King, and Hearts. That gives them four more points. So I guess I could switch to a club. Partner, like I want my partner to switch to a diamond. So maybe like five of clubs saying I don't like clubs. And my partner switches to a diamond... Okay, so now we see East have the Queen of Clubs. So if I've got the Ace, King of Hearts. So, hang on. My partner's got Ace, Jack of Clubs. And let's assume my partner's got Queen, Jack of Spades. No guarantee there. So that's uh, 11. So I think my partner's got the King of Diamonds. If they didn't have the King of Diamonds, they might have switched there. So let's just go Ace of Diamonds, Diamond. I probably didn't need to rush into it, but I don't know what, how good their clubs were, and maybe they will uh, get a club away. And they've just got the rest of the tricks now. So plus 300, maybe just a couple of imps there. Yep, so needed... well... Not sure how much I needed to cash out there. Obviously after I went club to the ace, jack of clubs... Uh, they still had more, so... No real rush there, but I was fairly sure my partner had that. Another spade would have worked out fine. Just plus 300, that's all we can get. And what about if we tried playing the contract? So if we tried playing five clubs, we would have a heart, a spade, a diamond, a club. So yeah, we can't make anything. Plus 300, good score. Nice start to the Sims. 10, 17 points, balance hand. Four, triple, three, start with one no, three no, let's go. Three of spades lead at best of four card suit. Uh, we've got three hearts and three clubs and two diamonds. Just want to build an extra trick. We've got an extra spade trick, so we will be making this. Uh, low spade to the jack. So I'm missing the nine, eight, and the ace. I could play like a low spade back to the ten. I could also cross and lead a low diamond towards the jack. Now, this is kind of a weird situation. Like, I could catch the ace of diamonds protecting uh, from West having singleton queen, uh, but I still only get three diamond tricks. Whereas if I lead a low diamond towards the jack and east has a singleton queen, I actually get four. I don't think it's likely that there's a singleton queen, but uh, we'll start by diamond to the jack. Eight of spades. Um, okay. So it looks like West has Ace, 
nine eight fourth, and they have two more spade tricks. If that's the case, I currently might have all the rest of the tricks if the diamonds come good. Those diamonds are good. And they just get uh, one more trick. They get their ace of spades at the end. So pretty easy hand there. Um, 11 tricks plus 660. Yeah, West had ace nine eight fourth. So I guess I could make an extra trick if I... Can I take a backwards finesse? No, I don't have the pips. I was wondering, can I lead like the jack of diamonds and then finesse, but I don't have the eight of diamonds. So 11 tricks, best I could get there. Um, so another normal but decent score. 10, 16, 18 points in a balanced hand. One club, rebid two no trumps, or four hearts, or, or three hearts. So the robots usually play this as 16 to 18 total points. I've got a four triple three. Uh, whoa. Okay, that, that's good that my partner just signed off there when I misclicked. I actually think bidding three hearts is right on this. Usually with 18 and 19, I'd jump to four hearts. This one's a four triple three, 18 count. Four triple threes are a terrible hand shape. So I reckon just inviting, the robots already play this as a bit conservative. So I think three hearts is good. Obviously splintering in spades is not ideal, but my partner didn't get excited, so. Uh, like, that have got a hand that could get excited opposite of the splinter. It looks like it would have a double fit and you really wouldn't need much. Anyway, uh, diamond lead. So I'll just duck that and draw trumps. So no one can really attack diamonds now um, because east has the jack, west has the ace. And yeah, they both followed. Okay, and I've just got the ace of hearts, so let's just ace of clubs, king of clubs, give up a club. And they just get their ace at this stage, clubs are all good. So making 11. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was thinking, should I consider something like double hooking clubs like leading with 10? I don't actually have the 8 of clubs, so it's not very, like, I can't actually do that. So just banging down the ace king's good. Uh, if you bid 3 hearts, your partner will bid 4 anyway. So whatever you do, 4 hearts is the normal spot. Even when you splinter in uh, spades by just misclicking there. So plus 450. I'm, I feel like I've just like one, one imp, one imp, one imp, basically. These are all very simple hands. Spade, pass, pass. I'm just going to double. Brings hearts into the picture. And now I'll just raise three clubs. Okay. So we've got two spades. It looks like I'm going to make ten tricks. I'm fairly sure West has the ace of diamonds. It is possible that the other hand has it. So uh, they just get two spades and a diamond. No, it's in the uh, other hand. Okay, so nine tricks. I was starting to think more and more likely that it was uh, with East because there's a best hand tournament. West has ten points in spades. They still had room to have the Ace, but there was really not, not much to it. So Jack of Hearts and draw trumps, claim, making nine. Uh, again, best we could do on this. Uh, I guess if I'm playing the hand, they cash two rounds of spades and then maybe switch to a heart and then I can actually make an extra trick. So if I'm playing the hand, maybe they make ten tricks. At any rate, I still think that'll be okay. Uh, not much more to that. The opponents can make eight tricks in diamonds or spades. So... yeah. More flat boards, so... Not a whole deal of excitement. 19 highs, 5 card suit. This one's worth 20. So I'll upgrade to 2 no trumps and get raised to 3 no trumps. Okay. 
And we've got three diamonds and five clubs, and we want to build a heart trick or a diamond trick. So I could run clubs and... Okay, first of all, I might have a spade stopper if the ace king of spades are on side. Secondly, I might be able to just take five clubs and four diamonds. Uh, okay, so four are diamonds and the nine appeared. So the three of diamonds is missing. So it looks like East has nine three doubleton. Um, although West might have just led from a three card suit. I could run my five rounds of clubs and they might get a discard and I'll find out more anyway. Start with one of the top club honours in my hand to pick up any four nil splits. Uh, club over. And let's just cash these clubs. There's a diamond. So these diamonds are probably running. Yep, diamonds are running now. And I'll just pitch a heart. I'm just going to pull a heart to the king. Doesn't matter if they win the ace or not. Like, if I. Protecting king x or not. Like, either my king wins and I get my heart trick. Or my king loses, and I want to keep my uh, spades here. So, duck a spade, and... Okay. Yeah, 6.30. So, that one should be good, I feel. Uh, the opponents have four spades and a heart to take. If I start with a club, uh, might go a club, pass, a diamond, pass, two no, pass, three no. The robots are still unlikely to try and cash their five tricks and lead a spade, but they could do. And if I open a club and my partner bids diamonds, maybe they'll come up with a reason to actually do that. So, all in all, I think this should be a good score. Also, North probably won't accept over 2-0. No. They've got a really bad six count. But this hand's worth 20 points, so that's why you should open it 2-0, no Trump. Board number six is 16 points, six card spade suit. Um, like in the robots methods, this hand is like really awkward. If I bid a spade, then I have to come up with a rebid here. Two spades is too weak. Three spades is too strong. Two no invites wrong. So you could open a no trump, but like ace king x heart and ace x a diamond makes it better suited for no for suit play. And sometimes you don't have that problem. So one spade double, two clubs double. Now I've got a different problem. Uh, three. No, probably just two spades. I don't like my uh, Queen of Clubs anymore. We might not have a fit. Take the low road, which uh, appears to be bad. So we have two spade losers, a club loser. I had a diamond loser, but that's now gone. Okay, so let's assume that maybe I've got three spade losers and something else. I could return a diamond. It's not great. I could go heart over again. Ah, oh, that's okay. I've still got entries. So, I just want to pull one spade towards... Well, I want to pull two lots of spades towards my queen jack. Try a diamond, see if they're rough. Okay, they do. And now... I have to guess whether West... Okay, so West started with one diamond, presumably six clubs. And that would give them 3-3 three, three in the majors, which would mean playing a low spade out is good here. The other option is... West had seven clubs, three hearts, one diamond, and two spades. But then, um, yeah, I feel like them just having a six card spade club suits more likely. So let's come out of spade. Good. And making ten tricks. Not sure what to make of this one. Firstly, I missed a game, but it's a tight game. My Queen of Clubs wasn't valuable, but my partner had a good hand there. Um, 
So how many people are going to bid and make games? So cold for ten, cold for ten. Uh, but playing the hand isn't easy. So uh, if I win and but let's see actually what I have to do player-wise. So king of diamonds and I win. So at this stage, if I come out of top spade, I'm actually down. If I come out of top spade, I'm actually down, so I don't want to do that. Uh, what other options do you have? Play a club is bad. Play a diamond is okay, but it looks a bit scary. So maybe I've done well here not bidding the game. I'll expect maybe another small win there. Uh, board 7, like, it, it's pretty rare that I miss a cold game and say that maybe I've had a win. Uh, 10, 11 points, triple 4, 1. I've got the spade suit, so I definitely want to open this hand. And I'll just put a spade. And pass. Okay. Alright. Club lead, 6 of clubs. Uh, the opponents have a heart fit, but they didn't overcall hearts, so West probably doesn't have five of them. I have 11, opposite 11 is 22. 18 points missing, um, so they could be 11 and 7 or anything more. Uh, anything more balanced than that. Anyway, uh, club to the jack. And I could come out the ten of clubs, or I could go ace of spades, spade. So I've got two spades, two diamonds, a club. I could take diamond finesses for extra tricks. If I build extra spade tricks, I can only get one extra spade trick. Still need another one. I think coming out of clubs is good. Ooh, two extra club tricks. Okay, so we get a spade discard there, and... They both discarded a heart. Now, um, I don't want them attacking hearts from west, so let's play a spade towards the nine. Or not. Uh, maybe I take the diamond finesse now. So I've got three club tricks, two spades. I still have a stopper there. If I play the nine of spades, I get... I guarantee an extra trick there. We'll take the diamond finesse. Just put in the ten of hearts. They win. Ace of hearts. Just throw this way. And it looks like I just lose a diamond in the end. A spade in the end, sorry. Making two. So... Most of the things that you could try would make you fail. Uh, I was cold off on that. 120 should have win me just a couple more imps. Um, so yeah. I'm happy with all my boards so far. One board to play. One diamond, two spades, double. And I have 12 points, four card spade support. Ace King of Hearts is useful. But I don't think that we're making game here. We've probably got six spades, two hearts. But I don't want to compete to three spades. Not sure where the opponents would get to. Uh, so we are making game. And we lose two clubs and a diamond because my partner has the world's best preempt. Six, four, nine count solid spades. So this will be my bad score because some people will just bid game because of the ten card fit. Um... I want diamond splitting really badly. Okay. I want spade splitting really badly. Okay, spade splitting badly is some good news there. Um, I didn't pay enough attention. <laughs> uh, is my jack of diamonds good? I'm not sure. Uh, I think I've still got 10 tricks here. Just Ace of Hearts, King of Hearts. 
Trumper heart low. Club. Rough. Okay, 10 tricks. Uh, so that one was a bit weird. The opponents only have... The opponents can make uh, five hearts, potentially. We've only got two heart losers off the top. The diamond split might be enough to cause them some grief. But, uh, yeah, that was the uh, free day-long tournament. If you wanted to uh, join the group, all you have to do is add me as a friend, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2. Check how the provisional results are doing. So I reckon plus 10. Plus 19. Okay, so... Uh, when I missed a game of four spades, I won 0.2 of an imp. When I missed a game on board six, I won 0.8 of an imp. No bad boards there. The upgrades uh, scored me pretty well with uh, 8.9. So, who did well? Alright, so I finished second in our group uh, in 702nd. And A Skylark took out first place. Well done uh, with it finishing in 136th with 29.37. So if you want to join this group, just add me as a friend, SLIYNK2, post in the comments, and I'll add you back. Uh, so only two of us in the top of thousands. Um, it's been a little while since I've got back in there, but uh, tough week. Um, everyone sort of did middling. So let's have a quick squiz at uh, all these other boards. So board one, four hearts doubled, uh, got me uh, three imps. Um, someone managed to beat at three. Quick look. Uh, so what did they do? So they bid three diamonds instead of doubling. They led the jack of hearts. And the opponents drew trumps and drew a lot of trumps. So then a down diamond, club to the ace, and then they tapped them and killed the communication to that hand. Alright, so they chose not to make a sensible bit of a double, and then that got them uh, an extra one down one. Some people didn't double four hearts, uh, poor choice. Some people bit onto three, four spades. Again, not a good choice. Easy uh, responsive double, I think. And easy double to say you've got a good hand. Uh, board two, three no trumps plus two for one imp. Pretty everyone getting to three no trumps, almost. And yeah, just lots of tricks were available there. Uh, then another one imp uh, for four hearts plus one. Uh, <laughs> this was a good splinter I made. Um, uh, some people got plus two because uh, they opened one no trump or. Two no trumps, or one no trump, or one no trump. Okay, so no one's at, like, the people that get plus two aren't bidding this hand well. Like, unless they think that it's actually worth downgrading this 18 count, but I I really dislike putting 18 counts into a no trump. And some people got two hearts. That's kind of funny that uh, you open one no, your partner transfers and passes. Th that's what they deserve for their one no trump. But their partner really should be bidding more. Or they should, like, they should super accept they have plenty of opportunities. Anyway, one imp to me. Uh, two imps for three clubs making. Some people got to four clubs, uh, which should go down. Some people got to five clubs. Okay, both of these options seem a bit much, like, I guess if you bid two clubs and your partner raises, I'm not sure, like, I don't have a good reason for competing more. Like, I've got more points. Uh, like, I don't mind three hearts, like, natural and constructive, but, like, I've only got a semi-balanced hand. And you can see that you've got four losers. Uh, but the opponents, like, it's unlucky for them that they don't make three diamonds and that they're just sort of semi-mirrored in the short suits. Anyway, three no trumps plus one. What? Lots of people going down. I thought maybe more people would be in um, uh, two no trumps. W what are these options? Why are people rebidding three no trumps? If you're going to do this, then you should be opening two no trumps. This is just all... Like, how did I click on every option here being the same? 
Okay, if you rebid two no trumps, you get past there. More people doing that. One no trump is just bizarre. They just opened it, I guess. Um, yeah. But if you value your hand correctly, nine imps. And then two spades plus one. Still snuck an imp in there. Lots of people getting to four spades. I feel like... To me, this feels like uh, four spades is a little bit too much like we, we could bid three spades um but my my queen x of clubs looks poor and jumping to my poor suit seemed not great so i think taking the low road here is fair but uh, certainly didn't work and a tricky one uh, to play but got my one imp then three imps for two no trumps making on the nose uh pa lots of people passing this in so with this being a best hand tournament, I think this is very similar position to actually being in fourth position and not going pass, pass, pass to you. Because when you've got 11 points, the robots don't tend to open 11 counts, so it's likely going to get passed in if we don't open. We have the spade suit, so I think we should uh, bid. It fits the, fits the rule of 15. And then board 8, I missed a game. My partner's got the world's fair for a two spade bid. I, I'd either be bidding one spade or three spades with their hand, and then maybe we get to four spades. I don't think I can play my partner for, like, four card club suit, no wasted points in the hearts, none in diamonds, six solid spades, so that's too much for me. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this free day-long tournament, and I'll see you next time.